What is going on guys? Welcome to Gump's videos. My name is indeed Kyle Gumpert and today I'm reviewing Star Wars Attack of the Clones. Yay for me. So this is easily the worst, uh, no, let me catch myself, the second worst Star Wars film ever. This is a capital Y Yikes. Yikes. Wow. <laughs> The only positive I can genuinely think about this movie, well, two things. The colors, it's 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 bright, so there, there's that. Yay, it's colorful colors. I mean, that, that keeps the kids happy, right? There's that, and then obviously, this is where the, the prequel memes really start to kick in. It's nowhere near Revenge of the Sith, but the, 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 the memes are still there. And it made this movie a little bit more bearable, surprisingly. Especially in the 20-minute car chase scene. Cut that down! Oh my god, that... The, so the first two minutes is, like, set up to what's going on. And then, literally, after those first two minutes, we're in a fucking car chase scene for, like, 15 to 20 minutes! Jesus Christ! Turn it down! Keep it to fucking 10 minutes! Max, your chasing should not, and I mean it should not, be over 10 minutes. It, it's so long. That if it, this was the length of a normal film, like an hour and a half, 20 minutes is a huge fucking chunk. It doesn't help that this movie's two hours and 24 minutes, I believe, but it's still a huge fucking chunk. No exposition in the fight, or no, no, no nothing, no no good action, no nothing. It's just chase, chase, chase. Let's stop. Use the force, Anakin. Then chase. And what get what did we get out of it? There was a bounty hunter trying to kill the princess. No shit, Sherlock. 20 minutes was wasted, so they could figure out that someone wanted the Senator Amidala dead. Doesn't take rocket science. Sorry, it doesn't. Went on to a tangent there, but that, that part just genuinely annoyed me and just flustered me on to why it was that long. It, it could have been easily 10 minutes, and the, the film would have been shorter for it. One of the big complaints I had about the first one was the writing. The writing is worse in this one. And I can't believe it. Some of the dialogue choices, some of the story choices that we're taking, and it's just everything, and I mean this, everything with Anakin Skywalker is wrong. And if you want to fucking fight me over it, I will fight you. I will take you to the grave. If you want to fucking burn me, well guess what? You're burning back, bitch. It's fucking gross what they did with Anakin Skywalker. First off, He's a whining scumbag of a person. First off, I was like, oh, Anakin's not that bad. Like, that's in the first, like, five minutes of the movie. And then, after he's with a Senator Amidala for, like, alone for, like, five minutes, he's like, yeah, Obi-Wan didn't understand. I'm not the Jedi Master. Yeah. That's all I fucking hear. It's a disgrace. You're trying to tell me that's fucking Darth Vader? No, he's not. No, that's not Darth Vader, because Darth Vader's like, you don't know the power of the dark side. Oh, I will kill everybody. And this guy's like, fucking kicking things. Like, yeah! I'm not even a Star Wars fanboy. Not even a huge Star Wars fan, to be honest. I like the originals. I like The Force Awakens. I like Rogue One. I, I love the cartoons. But I still don't consider myself a Star Wars fanboy. And this still genuinely pisses me off. How badly they got Darth Vader. Like, in this universe, they're like, look, th th there's Darth Vader, right? Guess what his origin was? A kicking, screaming, whining loser. Okay. Whatever you say. Every time he's with Senator Amidala, when they're falling in love, or he's loving her, he becomes a... For lack of a better word, he's becoming Bill Cosby. That's the best way I can really put it. He stares at her, even... In the movie, Senator Amidala is like, stop looking at me like that. And he's like, why? And then he, she's like, you're freaking me out. I think 
this is a conspiracy theory, but I think that was not in the that was not in the script. I think that was genuine. I think that because first off, Natalie Portman in this role is flat as ever, and that's the only time that I think she was a real person. I think that that that's the truth. Yeah, the only explanation. Only explanation. Another problem with Anakin in general, not specifically him, but everybody else. What happened in the first one? They don't want him to join because A, he's too old, and B, like, I sense darkness in him. And, like, where the fuck did that go? Anakin's killing things. Yoda senses darkness, yet the old fucker's not doing a goddamn thing! Everyone senses it! Obi-Wan senses it! Obi-Wan's the only one who has a genuine reaction about it. The senator, for God's sakes, hears Anakin confesses to her. I killed people, the men, not just the women, the women and the children. You know the way Anakin explains things these days. And you know what she does? We all know where Revenge of the Sith goes. They bang. Are you fucking kidding me? You dumb bitch! Are you fucking stupid? First off, he gets rapey vibes with you. He freaked you out. He killed people. Now you're in love? Really? Now you're in love? And the whole thing that they are trying to do with this is the fact that it's a Romeo and Juliet thing. And I, I sensed it all over this. Heavily inspired by Romeo and Juliet. A hopeless romantic. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. You were nowhere near Romeo and Juliet. First of all, I don't like Romeo and Juliet. Fucking fight me! I will fight you! I do not like that play! I studied Shakespeare. I hated that play. Hate is a little strong. I just, I did not like it. But you're nowhere near Romeo and Juliet! I've been stuck on the Anakin storyline for so long, but guess what? The movie's about him, so... Kinda tough, isn't it? I wanted to talk about the Clone Army. It was so cool to finally see them back in action, but... What I don't understand is, when they're on Geonosis and they're, like, doing close-up of clones, why are they doing CGI? I 100% understand why they did CGI when it comes to, like, the millions of, uh, like, armies and p people and shit like that. I understand with that. But when you're having a one-on-one -on -one interaction with Yoda, I, I don't, I, I'm sorry, I can't offend you on that one. I don't understand. It looked so fake. And so does Yoda. But yeah, I, I was confused why they decided to do a CGI clone in such a close-up. Um, the last f 10 minutes, I, I, will, I won't say I liked, but I enjoyed. Because, guess what? They actually swung lightsabers. That was fun. Yet, I don't know how. I get it, they were outnumbered, but yet, like, 20 Jedi died. To clones, not clones, to, to droids. That's pretty pathetic. I'm not saying that it's impossible for a Jedi to die to a droid. Because they were massively outnumbered. It's the fact that, like, on screen, how they died, that was very fake. It looked like I was out there fighting with a lightsaber. The guy was swinging, like, dodging the bullets and shit like that, blocking them and stuff. Then he fucking trips over like a fucking dumbass, and then gets shot in the face. That doesn't seem like a lifetime of training to me. You can't set up the Jedi being, like, an impossible thing to become, and then you get killed in a pathetic way like that. Like I said, I understand why they that why some Jedi would die, but there was a lot of them dying for a lot of pathetic reasons that mistakes that I would make. But other than that, I was entertaining, I guess? Because in the, in the entire movie, they crack a lightsaber maybe three times, and that's not even the fight. They're like, they cracked the lightsaber for maybe 15 seconds. Not even. And that was boring. I'm pretty much done about this movie. Honestly, there's not much to discuss. The movie thinks it's a Romeo and Juliet movie. And the romance is freaking awkward at best. Where you got Bill Cosby trying to flirt with the senator. It's like, hey, take a pill. <laughs> Anakin crying like a fucking bitch. The, the opening 20 minutes was fucking garbage, but everything else is just forgettable. That's it, guys. I really don't want to talk about this movie because the more I really talk about it, the less 
interest that I get, it's a bad fucking movie. It's bad. It's not a, it's so bad it's good kind of thing. It's genuinely bad. The only thing that helps really me, keep me going watching that movie was the memes. And I genuinely mean that. Because I would chuckle at scenes that aren't even meant to be chuckled at. Because I'm just like, oh, look at all that meme potential. <sighs> One out of five stars. Bye. <laughs>